Hey, it's Coach for Tactical Hive, and I'm out of here on the range today, and I'm gonna go over a few drills you can do with dummy rounds, okay? Dummy rounds are really good, good training aid. You can use them on their own, but you can also mix them in with live ammo. So we'll get to that right after this. And we're back. Okay, so I've got my trusty 320. We're clear. Now, if I put an empty mag in there and I do my training, okay, I'm gonna have to adjust this every time. Tap, it locks every time because the follower's there, right? So if you just have dummy rounds, so this one is just full of dummy rounds, and be careful, be real careful uh, that you just have dummy rounds, all right? If you're gonna do this, you know, your dry fire practice in your house or whatever, no live ammo, make sure you empty everything out and then feed all your dummies in there, all right? So now, as we do this, I'm gonna get a click instead of a bang, finger out, tap, roll, rack, and I'm back on, okay? So I, I can sit there and do tap racks and the gun is gonna act exactly how it, is, how it would in real life, okay? So the, or when you're actually firing, okay, for live fire. So add pressure, click instead of a bang, finger out, tap, roll, rack, thumb up, regrip, and then back on, slack out. Okay? So that's how you're gonna do it if you're just, you know, just using just the dummy rounds. All right, so you can also incorporate them in with live rounds. And that's the drills we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna set up on the uh, targets over here, and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so we got some nine mil dummies uh, mixed in there and with some live rounds. So I'm gonna load, do my press check just because I'm used to doing that. And yes, operators do press checks. All right, you, you never know, man. That, if this, if you're trusting your life to this thing, you better, I'm gonna press it, check it, you know. You do what you, I don't care. All right, so I'm gonna punch out and take my shots. Okay, finger out, scan, I got two shots. All right, check my buddies. Ready to go again. Stand by. Shred. Punch out. Got a click instead of a bang. Finger out. Tap it. Roll it. Rack it. Thumb up. Regrip and re-engage. Got a click instead of a bang. Tap. Roll. Rack. Thumb up. Regrip. Re-engage. Finger out and scan. Okay. So that's the drill. You just you, know, you put them in there random. Now you'll notice sometimes that. If you if the the muzzle dips a lot, that that's an indicator that you're anticipating. Okay, so we want to avoid that, and that's one of the little, that's it'll show you where your little weaknesses are. So I can punch out, take my shot. Got two shots, so finger out. Give me a scan. Break my stance, shake it off. Keep my head up. Punch out. Click instead of a bang. Finger out. Tap. Roll. Rack. Thumb up. Regrip. And then re engage. Okay, lock to the rear. Mag out. Do my mag change. Back on. Okay. So I got another magazine loaded up like that. Or these are set up with a number of. Uh, nine mil dummies in there, but I also have a 40 cal dummy. Uh, and this 320 magazine, it barely fit in there, but what this will do, it will duplicate a malfunction uh, that is gonna require a remedial action, not just the immediate action of the tap rack. So we have two types of responses to a gun that doesn't work, all right? I don't like to call it a type one, type two, A, B. You know, it doesn't matter what's wrong with the gun. The impetus that you're going to get from it, if you get a click, you actually feel and hear that striker go forward, that requires immediate action. That's your tap and rack, okay? If you get a dead trigger, okay, so if, even if I'm empty, you know, 
I'll bring the gun up and double check that I'm just empty, not malfunctioned, okay? So if I get a dead trigger, I'm just gonna finger out, bring the gun back, check and see what I got. I'll see brass if there's an issue, okay? If, if it's jammed up. And then it requires a different action Okay, a remedial action as opposed to an immediate action. Okay, it takes a little bit longer. And yes, you'll probably go for cover or something like that, but you'll be doing this. That's tactics. This is the technique. Okay, so same thing here. We're just going to shoot. Oh, shoot again. Got a click instead of a bang. Finger out, tap, roll, rack, sum up, re engage. Okay, that's that immediate action. Okay, now, it feels like it locked to the rear. Now I could try and just do a, uh, a reload, but a reload ain't gonna work because when I press this, the magazine ain't gonna come out because the slide is now pinching that last round, it's pushing it forward so it won't drop. Okay, so what I need to do every time that slide comes and locks to the rear is finger out, roll it back, and if you see something in there, that's gonna key you into the remedial action. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the gun back, lock the slide to the rear, strip that magazine out of there, bring a new one in, roll it, rack it, and get back to work. Now, if there's something caught actually in the chamber, you're gonna run the slide once, okay? That's the one thing that 40 cals ain't gonna do for you, okay? But when it happens for real, you're gonna see that brass and you're gonna do the same exact move, except you might have to send that forward. So it looks something like this. On. Okay, so lock to the rear. So finger out. Ah, see, I got brass in there. So I'm going to rack it, bring that out, and then as my hand's coming down here, I'm double checking, making sure that I'm clear. If I'm not clear, this hand has to come back up here, rack it, send it forward, lock it to the rear again, and then we'll go ahead and get another magazine out and load her up, and get back to work. Okay, so that's your immediate versus a remedial using dummy rounds. Uh, you notice uh, the 40 cals barely fit in that bad boy, but you know they're, they're enough and I got one to feed. So you never know exactly what's gonna happen, but there's some training artificialities that you're gonna have to deal with because we can't program actual nine mil ammo to malfunction on call, okay? Um, so it is what it is. Using the dummy rounds, you're still going to get the same training. The same moves are going to apply. Okay, so click instead of a bang, tap, rack, get back to work. You get a dead trigger, finger out, give it a check because hell, you might be empty, especially new shooters. It's difficult to tell the difference between just slide locking to the rear on an empty chamber or you got a malfunction. Okay, it's going to feel the same. So every time that that Weapon runs dry. Okay. So if I'm just out of ammo, I'm gonna press it out. Okay, so I've locked to the rear. I got a dead trigger because maybe I'm a new shooter and I don't quite understand what's going on. You want to automatically finger out and just roll it back. When you roll it back, you're gonna see that there's no brass there. It's just a dark hole. That means that's gonna cue you into straight into that reload and get back to work. Okay, you get a click instead of a bang. Okay, what's the remediation, right? It's gonna be an immediate action. So finger out, tap, roll, rack it, thumb up, regrip, and re-engage. Okay, now, when you're doing this drill, go slow enough so that you can do everything perfectly. A lot of times, uh, when guys do immediate action, they do their tap rack and then they just grab on and they get a really crappy grip, okay? We don't want to do that. So slow down, take a shot. Okay, click instead of a bang. Finger up, tap, roll, rack, thumb up, and then your hand regrips. Notice the gun never came back towards my face. And you regrip and then re engage. Okay. So that's your tap rack, immediate action drill and your remedial action. Like I said, I don't like to call them, you know, give them, give them fancy names. Uh, I just like to talk about what you're gonna do, okay? When you practice this, this gives you that go switch, right? The signal to go is, you know, it's gonna cue you in, that click, you go to an immediate action. You get a dead trigger, 
Then you do your remedial. It's that simple, guys. So that's your immediate and remedial actions for the pistol. Now, there's some similarities when we move to uh, the AR platform, and we'll get to that in another video. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, and leave me some comments.